Hey everyone, it's Jojo and welcome to a Bakugan unboxing and review. Today I have the Takar Tomi version of Dragonoid. And before I get to this unboxing, there are a couple of shout outs I want to uh, do. So first of all, a shout out to Marudi for sending this to me. He also sent me the Bakugan Bakuwaza uh, challenge technique sheet, which I will um, go over in a little bit and um he sent these to me because he found out i was undergoing surgery and uh he sent it to me as uh, as like a get well uh present so thank you marudi for sending this to me another shout out is to kimbo he sent me a custom kimbo bakugan card check that out that definitely looks like him this is super awesome so if you guys don't know who kimbo is i'll leave a link in the description below he does beyblade and bakugan unboxings he was also invited to the first annual bakugan invitational invitational uh tournaments and um so for each guest they made a custom bakugan card uh, with their picture on it, which is freaking amazing. <laughs> Even signed the back of that. But yeah, great stuff. So thank you, Kimbo, for sending this to me. And um, kind of a little mini shout out to my local GameStop. Um, I was not able to go to the Bakugan demo day. Um, instead, I went to um, visit the store the following Monday, and they were still kind enough to give me some of the promo cards. Uh, so I have a uh, Hyper Serpentis Ultra, Prismatic Bolt, Titan Maxitor Ultra, and Fire Boost. And uh, these are promos because it has like a different layout, different design. It's got that um, promo symbol down at the bottom right. Even has the faction logo printed in the text box, which is awesome. I really like that. I wish they would do that for all of their <laughs> Bakugan. Oh, and one more thing. I do also have these promo baka cores that Marudo, Maridi also sent me uh but yeah thanks again, again thanks Maridi for all this uh all this great stuff all right so moving on here we have the Takara Tomi version of Dragonoid and I will be comparing uh the packages to the American version or the Western version by Spin Master so first of all let's bring out Hey Osnelius, I know it's not Pyrus Dragonoid, but uh, this is the only one I have that's still in the box. So, obvious comparisons, different size, different shape packaging. I, although I do like that the Takao Tomi one does have Dragonoid, the actual character of the Bakugan, on the uh, packaging. And I also noticed that it has a challenge meter for uh, the transformation, which that um, the Spin Master version does not for the cores. I believe this is applicable for all of the Takara Tomi Bakugan packaging. And just to uh, show you, I have an Ultra here still in box. And uh, this one only has um, two out of three, but the, the Takara Tomi version is out of five. So this one is three out of five, which I don't think is accurate. Uh, yeah, I just generally don't even pay attention to that. I, I would rate Dragonoid at a 2 at the most. It's so easy to close. I mean, there are easier ones like Gorthion and um, Tertone, uh, Tertonium, the uh, core version, so I would rate those as 1, but this one would be a 2 at the most in my opinion. So the Takara Tomi version, it only says Bakugan here in the logo as to this one has Bakugan Battle Plan and Battle Bra Brawlers, although I don't understand the Japanese language, so I don't know if this says like Battle Planet or Battle Brawlers, which series is it from? But um, they do have a uh, serial number, so this one is 001, as opposed to uh, Spin Master doesn't have that on uh, there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the front. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not, because you could actually see the character card of Dragonoid back there, so you can see its damage, as opposed to this one, it's all flipped over, so you can't see that. And we got the cores displayed both on the front. There is a lot more detail going on in the back compared to the one here on the right. So here on the top left, it actually shows you all the stats of Dragonoid, even the cores. So you don't have to, you know, buy it blindly or wait for someone else to unbox it on camera for you to figure out which cores it is. And then we also have um, 
like how to roll it, you know, all that basic stuff. And here we have some some type of like trick shot that you could do. In between uh, two pillars, you could try rolling your Bakugan there onto the, the Baku course. So yeah, a lot more illustrations here going on on the back, which I really love. Um, here we just have, you know, the Bakugan it comes with the Baku one Bakugan, two Baku cores, one character card, and the uh, the rolling instructions and just other stuff you could buy as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's kind of bare bones compared to the Takara Tomi version, which I gotta say, I, I like this, this packaging a lot better. So enough of comparison in the packaging. Let's get this Bakugan open. And before I move on any further, I do want to mention that the card seems like it is better placed in the Takara Tomi packaging. It's the corner of it, like in the Spin Master one, it's not like tucked in into like a little uh, sleeve or whatever, but um, or a little slit. So this one comes out fairly straight and it's not uh, all bent and all that and whatnot. So yeah, an improvement in the packaging. So this starter comes with a couple of instructions. This first small, smaller one is kind of, I don't know what it's saying, but it's kind of like Dan explaining uh, the, the game of Bakugan, maybe. <laughs> and on the other side, one half of it is a checklist, so we have Trox, Pegatrix, Nilius, and a question mark, which is obviously Hydrus, and then Dragonoid, Halcor, and then Serpentese, and we have another one that is um, blacked out there. So they are calling the Ultras DX Bakugan. So instead of Ultras, it's DX. And then down here we have like a little challenge game. So level one, you just shoot and roll your Bakugan at a one card distance and then two cards and then three cards is level three. So that's pretty neat. On the other half is kind of like the same, like get your Bakugan set, roll and shoot. And um, yeah, you could also lengthen the, um, the card there. And then we have one more, which is kind of a big one. I probably should have zoomed back a little bit, but uh, let me uh, just fold it up a little. Uh, all right, so we got some mornings and that's it. <laughs> we got a little uh, promo uh, graphic of Dan and Dragonoid together. And then down here is um, the instructions on how to close him. So even the Takara Tomi core Bakugan have instructions on how to close him. It's only the Ultras from Spin Master that includes instructions. And on the other side, just going over the factions, you know, all the Baku cores, what they mean, all that stuff, and um, the flipped version of it. And we have like a simplified version of how to play Bakugan down here, and how to arrange your um, Baku cores onto the playing field. And but yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much what we know or what we already know from uh, Bakugan. All right, and here we have Dragonoid, Pyrish Dragonoid. And I've got to say, it's exactly like the Spin Master version. I'm pretty sure they're all manufactured in the same um, area. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, here, the only difference is down at the bottom, it has an M for where the magnet is and an arrow to roll it. So it's going this way. But then the arrow is also engraved into the tail when um, when it's in ball form. And a quick comparison to the Spin Master version, pretty much the same. I don't really see much of different in, in except for like you know paint variation, which happens. You know a little bit of paint smudges here and there. Overall, they are pretty much the same Bakugan. So there's really no reason to you know buy the Japanese version unless you like unless you like it. But um, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it for comparison of the two Bakugan. Pretty much the same. Now for the cores, we have the Green Fist and the Flaming Fist. So Green Fist, you get plus two damage and a plus one fifty B power. And Flaming Fist, uh, plus four damage and plus 150 B power. I really like the design of uh, the cores here. So we got 
these uh, little uh, nodes here to represent the four damage and then plus B down there. And you also have like this um, design in the middle that looks like the hive matrix compared to the regular version or the spin master version where it's just just the number and uh, or the damage. Obviously these are not the ones that came with the original Dragonoid, but th this is just here for comparison. I gotta say, again, I like the artwork on um, the Japanese version. Just looks a little bit more digital to me. And then lastly, we have the card. So we have Japanese prints, a little bit different border up here. Let's compare. So we got a different border up top. Obviously, the images for the Baku cores are different, but the actual graphic of Dragonoid is the same. Uh, different text for the numbers down here. And uh, yeah, I again, I just like... I, there's a little bit more to the Japanese versions. I like that they put these nodes down here for um, for uh, to represent the damage. And then we have the Battle Planet symbol. And also the battle planet symbol, but also says CO. I'm guessing that means common, as um, this is a common card after all. And on the back, uh, we have a little bit more uh, Japanese text here on the top. So I would imagine it would be okay to use Japanese cards with your English cards as long as you wear sleeves that cover the back so you won't know what you're going to be drawing next or yeah so I imagine that would be okay I don't see a problem with that and uh, if anyone wants to clarify uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below I don't think you would be able to use these cores and these cores together just because you know you know you, there's an obvious difference between the two so it's like giving you um, it's like an obvious uh, hints at what the Baku core is and yeah uh, let's I guess the only thing to do is to transform Dragonoid oh and there we have it Pyrus Dragonoid and here is the Spin Master version or the Western version yeah pretty much pretty much the same I was comparing them off camera yeah, just same, same Dragonoid. And the B power here is again printed on the back, the back shoulder of Dragonoid. I did notice that when you transform the Japanese version back, it the ball form is much smoother. So there was an issue with the Western version where the horn on Dragonoid pops out, but as you can see, this one stays in a lot better. There was also an issue of the tail popping up a little bit more. This one, not for me, but uh, for me, the, it's the horn on Dragonoid that that pops up too much. But this one is a lot more flush all the way around. And yeah, I think that's all I got to say about the Takarotomi Pyrus Dragonoid Bakugan or Bakugan core Bakugan, I should say. I also have these promo Baku cores that Marudi gave me. We can see what some of them are all right so we got a flaming fist zero b power but five damage we also got a yellow shield plus 100 but zero damage and then a magic shield or blue shield zero damage but 500 b and a green fist plus one damage they also have um, the words promo printed on the very bottom of each of them. And lastly, I wanted to show off the Bakugan Bakuwaza challenge technique sheet. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all on camera. So we place your Baku cores up here and from level one, you shoot your Bakugan from here to there. Level two, obviously it's a little bit farther and then it keeps going. Level three and then level four. So. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a practice uh, technique sheet. And then here on the back, it's kind of like a poster of the Bakugan anime. And on the bottom part, we just have a little bit uh, more info about Bakugan, how to shoot it, what distance, and then we have some releases. This is the first wave in Japan, so we have Serpentese right there. 
and uh, Halcor, which are the DX versions. And then down at the bottom, more of the, uh, just more of the first wave and then different products you could buy. So we have the, uh, the carrying case for 2,500 yen, uh, the battle arena, 3,200, and um, the actual, like the starter deck, the 40 card starter deck. All right, so that is it for this video. Again, thank you so much to Maruti for sending me these awesome uh, Bakugan products. And also thank you to Kimbo for sending me your exclusive Kimbo Slice Bakugan hero card. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time with more. See you soon.